Co się wydarzy w odcinku 72 part 2? Z Kibidi Toilet sprawdzimy dzisiaj wielka uczta wszystkich analizatorów. Wszyscy razem na jednym odcinku. No właśnie, wszyscy są tutaj. Zostawcie lajka, lecimy. No ciekawe. Wydaje mi się, że nie będzie jeszcze w parcie drugim takiej mega mocnej bitki, bo Boom powiedział, że 73, 74, 77 i 80 będą dobrymi, najlepszymi odcinkami. Także ciekawe. And let's go. We all noticed that new characters began to appear in the series, as well as old characters about whom we had already forgotten. In this episode, a cameraman scientist appeared whom we saw back in episode 54. Pojawiają się te naukowcy i tak dalej. I ten ulepszony Mr. Boom himself said, "Pająk zarobiście wygląda." And it looks like there will be a lot more old and new characters in each new episode. Ten choke, kozacko. Which return are you most looking forward to? W ogóle muszę wam powiedzieć. Słuchajcie, mam kanał gamingowy, gdzie gramy sobie w Robloxy różne inne gierki dotyczące też Skibidi Toilet. Wczoraj szukałem sekretów z odcinka 72 na mapie z, z tego filmu, także dzisiaj będzie kontynuacja. Zapraszam, subskrybujcie, link w opisie i przypiętym komentarzu. Tu będzie dużo gamingu właśnie i serdecznie Was zapraszam na ten kanalik, także lecimy dalej. Lecimy dalej z tym. I'm just sure it's going to be one of the most epic events of the upcoming episodes. Just imagine him being the cause of the fight between G-Man and Astro Toilets. Yeah, that would be epic. It seems that many are waiting for his return. Moby, are you also waiting for Simp Cameraman? Of course, I'm looking forward to the return of Simp Cameraman. This character is the next main character after Plunger Man and Dark Speaker Man. And I also think that most of the viewers also expect to see him back in the series. And most likely he will get a number of improvements and most likely take the place of Plunger Man. No ja też myślę, że Mech będzie tutaj odpowiadał. Już wam to mówiłem wcześniej, że Mech przejmie rolę Plungera. This will happen if he ends up on the side of the agents. But what about you, Elite? We all know I'm always looking forward to seeing TV Woman more, but we already got to see my beloved TV Woman a lot last couple episodes. I don't particularly have someone that I'd like to see other than learning what happened to the Simp Cameraman. I more so want to see the new unique agents that we'll be seeing later on. Yeah, we all know that you are looking forward to TV Woman more than anyone. And I would like her to be in every episode, but it seems that Boom does not want to give her to you. But I hope that in the future something <laughs> no. will change. Niestety, Anyways, miłość. personally, I'm looking forward to the return of the Cameraman. But there is one more character that I'm looking forward to the most. And you can probably Detective, guess that it's Skibidi Cat. A kot, okej, okay. Skibidi Kot. No też czekam na pojawienie się go. Ma się pojawić. Także. Boom also said that he has an interesting plan for him. And we can only wait for this legendary return. Ciekawe, co znaczy to interesujące plany. Czy on będzie teraz krzyżówką z Kibidi Toilet i może to on jest tym projektem niedokończonym naukowca? Hmm. But we still have a lot to talk about and let's talk about G-Man. Because it turns out that we know very little about him. Since Astro General said that he is some kind of commander and he betrayed Astro Toilets. But what does all this mean? I stick to the theory that the Titan G toilet is related to the Astro Toilet race and it is even possible that he was one of their commanders in chief, which is why Astro Toilet calls him commander. By the way, this is a good theory and I also want to talk about it, but let's listen to what guys No może tak być. No tutaj jeden z widzów trafnie zauważył, że G-Man potrafił z oczu puszczać lasery, tak jak Astro Toalety, więc być może należał do tej rasy. To say. To tell you honestly, I suspected something really fishy about G-Man a pretty long time ago already. It became quite obvious to me in episode 71 how the things simply don't match up because he used to behave like such a coward all the time and boom, suddenly he's all cool and sassy in episode 71. Could this mean it was all just a facade and in reality he's a very important and powerful figure that was somehow connected to Astro Toilets? Now I feel like we're about to know the whole truth about G-Man very soon. No, ciekawe, jestem ciekaw, jaka będzie Honestly, prawda. Ever since episode 57. Ale ja dalej uważam, że ta forma G-Mana taka ogromna, to jest jego forma taka, wiecie, nieprawdziwa. 
po prostu powiększona, nie? Tak jak naukowiec był zminiaturyzowany i wchodził sobie do Tytana, tak myślę, że Jimen też tu ma pojazd i on wchodzi do takiego dużego Jimena. He hasn't been showing up as much and most of his appearances were his clones. So this begs the question of what the Astro Toilets mean when it comes to treason. We already knew that he was the top dog in the Skibidi army because in the bunker he was the main part of the Skibidi Alliance logo. What the Astros mean by betrayal, I think we'll get to know soon enough, but I have no idea what it was. I always loved this Chyba, że wykradł coś tym Astro Toiletom. And it always seemed to me that he was hiding something from us and he was not allowed to reveal himself completely because he always ran away. And in episode 60, Boom was able to confuse us and we began to think that the commander was a Skibidi scientist. But it turns out that G-Man was always the commander and perhaps he was smarter even than the scientist because the scientist was able to be killed. But G-Man was able to run away from danger again. And if you remember, I told you that G-Man knew in advance that the agents would be able to kill the scientist and even in episode 69, he has already started his escape plan. And Boom himself said that he always has a plan. But I have another crazy theory. What if G-Man is an astro toilet and he betrayed his own allies and went over to the side of ordinary toilets? And it seems to me that he used to be the commander of the army of Astro Toilets. But after the betrayal, they sent this Astro Toilet after him to destroy him. And this makes sense because already in episode 60, Astro Toilets tried to kill him. But they didn't know that it was a clone, and the scientist also prevented them. And perhaps G-Man always knew that this day would come that Astro Toilets would come for him. No, może tak być, że to jest po prostu... On coś zrobił w bazie Astro, może ją zniszczył albo w jakiś sposób wykradł jakieś rzeczy i oni chcą się zemścić. And that's why he created many of his clones to confuse them. And Astro Toilets realized that they couldn't kill him since everyone would protect him. So they called a stronger Astro Toilet to finish him off. And I'm not gonna lie, this damn theory is very real. Just think about this confusing plot. G-Man was the general of the Astro Toilets. Then he betrayed them and created no. clones because he knew that they would come for him. He also knew that the scientist could die and made a plan to escape from this base. And even when he faced Astro Toilet face to face, he doesn't show any emotions or fear. He confidently began to charge his lasers as he knew he could beat this Astro. But there is another theory, perhaps Astro Toilet is hunting for G-Man because he violated the contract which we saw in episode 70. No właśnie, to jest ważne. Nie wiemy co tu jest napisane. Nie, myślę, że potem będzie jakiś sekret, który pozwoli nam przetłumaczyć to, co tu jest. The toilets wanted to get this cargo. Może to jest ważne, że da się w jakiś sposób to przetłumaczyć, nie? The G-Man betrayed them and tried to escape. Of course, these are all just theories, and we will be able to find out the whole truth in the next episode. But I still can't calm down because of the fact that G-Man is not afraid of the Astro General. And without any words began to charge his lasers, maybe he has some kind of trump card about which we don't know. And does he even have a chance to win? What do you guys think about this? He of course is a trump card. He always has been, but the problem with Może użyje tego eksperymentu niedokończonego. Ciekawe. G-Man is that he always loses and he is all talk. Maybe this time it's different because Boom did mention that we haven't seen his full power, but this also goes for the Claw Astro Toilet. And here you are absolutely right. We have not seen the full power of G-Man, but at the same time we also don't know the full power of the Astro General. I think the second part of episode 72 will show him at a higher level of alertness. His new technology is similar to the Alliance Titans, so I have a theory that in the near future he will have a body and look like a big Skibidi Titan mutant. No właśnie, też to mówię, że to on będzie tytanem po tym przed, bo to tak stopniowo powstaje Mardzeń teraz. Pewnie będzie miał mutantowe nogi i ręce. Ciekawe to będzie. But what do you think I saw about the trump card up his sleeve? Well, yeah, I am absolutely sure this guy has something up his sleeve. Do you guys remember those two containers that appeared by the end of the new episode? Może to są nogi albo ręce w tych kontenerach. Or someone really special to get out of one of them and help G-Man in battle against this fierce Astro Toilet. But who it might be? What if it's Skibidi Scientist's latest project we have been rumored about? And your theory is plausible since I also thought about it. And I mentioned in my analysis that someone will help G-Man in this battle. It could be some new Skibidi mutant who is now in the Albo sekretny agent mu pomoże. This container, or it will be another Skibidi toilet. No bo skoro sekre, e, naukowiec znał sekretnego agenta, to e, Jimen też na pewno go znał. I didn't notice how Michael Jackson was flying with other toilets, but we heard his sound. And what if he is the one who helps G-Man in this battle? On jest za Although mały. G-Man looks confident, but this Astro toilet is damn strong. And maybe Jimmy won't be able to win this fight alone, and he is sure that other toilets will help him. And Michael Jackson is perfect for this role since he is huge and just as strong and can deliver a sudden stab in the back. Nie, on jest za mały. 
but let's try to compare the abilities of these two giants. In fact, G-Man has only lasers and a core, but at the same time the Astro Toilet has three claws. He is also damn fast and can reflect enemy attacks. But I noticed an important detail because we don't know if he can reflect G-Man's lasers, since this is a constant attack. I mean, we saw how Astro Toilet reflected a single shot, but G-Man's lasers release energy constantly, and I don't think that he will be able to reflect it. And as Moby mentioned, then perhaps G-Man can transform his body and he will be like our Titans, because I... No właśnie, dalej uważam, że G-Man to będzie Titan potem. I doubt that G-Man will be able to win only with the help of his lasers. And even when G-Man started charging all his guns, they transform a little and move forward. So I think that he can transform his body into a huge Titan. And that's why he has such a confident face. Personally, I want G-Man to punish this Astro Dog. I really love this character and I will hope that he will win. And the chances are 50 to 50. But there is a chance that this fight will not happen. No właśnie, słuchajcie, Boom powiedział, że 73 będzie najlepszy do, super odcinkiem. Nie 72. Więc tutaj pewnie tą bitwę ktoś przerwie. Because Boom didn't mention that in episode 72 crazy events await us. And crazy events will begin in episode no, 73 właśnie, o tym and mówię. we will also see the titans there. But this fight will actually be the most legendary in the entire history of the series. And if Boom does not think that this will be a crazy fight, then perhaps it won't happen. I have no ideas to be honest, but what do you guys think about the events in the new episode? And when will it be released? Yeah, I can see what you mean, because Boom can be really unpredictable at some point, and you'll know what he will make next. But I think that we'll see the release of the second part of the episode pretty soon, because it looked like Boom had to divide episode 72 in two parts at the very last moment, when he had little time to delay the whole episode any longer. So I believe the second part is almost Też uważam, że Boom ma już przygotowaną tą część, done nie? Already. Także they come out in the matter of 4 of 5 days instead of 8 of 10. Nie, no będziemy czekać 7 dni na And pewno. I also expect the next part to start from the battle because as I mentioned earlier, I think something may come out out of one of these containers we saw and kick Astro's ass in pair with G-Man. I think Boom wouldn't let an opportunity to show us such an epic fight go, but that's my opinion. I hope the toilets can kick that Astro dog's ass. And I also hope the episode comes out faster than usual. I remember Elite Cameraman asking Mr. Boom about when the full episode would be ready, and as I recall, Boom said the next part would be ready about 7 to 8 days after the first part was released. So I think that we will see the second part of 72 episode next week closer to the weekend. And as for the battle, I think that it will start, but not end. That is both Astro Toilet and G Toilet will stay alive. They'll just damage each other a little bit. And I'm also guessing that while the toilets are fighting, our ja nie wiem, czy czasem Tytani się w tę walkę nie włączą, nie? Our scientist will call for reinforcements, or summon himself a new mechanical suit. But that's just my theory, and if you're interested in my theories about the sequel to part 72, you're all welcome to visit my channel, because I'll have a video with theories on it soon. I do think that the battle will happen in part 2, but the thing we should be asking is, if this battle is going to happen in part 2 and Boom didn't mention anything, what will happen in episode 73 and 74? Because as you guys know, Boom said that the Titans won't appear in episode 72, but in episode 73, and the Titans know about what G-Man did to their friends. So we might actually see them interfere in the fight in episode 73. I don't know when it'll come out, but Boom did say that it'll take a week or so when I asked in my interview. Myślę, so, że w tym odcinku będzie tam następnych, będzie właśnie zginie ten Tytan Głośnik. 